This is the University of Leeds' robot Lucy, one of seven in the EU-funded project Strands. With the recent proliferation of human-oriented robotic applications in both domestic and industrial scenarios, it is vital for robots to be able to continuously learn about their environments, including the people and activities within them, and how these concepts are referred to in natural language, all in an unsupervised manner. In this video, we demonstrate learning about simple concepts such as colours and faces, as well as complex concepts that manifest over a period of time, which we call activities. We integrate this with state-of-the-art object segmentation and human pose estimation into a continual learning framework and show how symbolic concepts from language can be grounded in the learned perceptual concepts to facilitate communication. We collected a dataset over the period of a week in which our robot Lucy navigated autonomously to waypoints. These were predominantly located in a kitchen area which also included a printer. Lucy uses an RGBD camera to locate humans using the OpenNI People Tracker. For each human detected, a sequence of pose estimates over a time series of frames is acquired. The raw OpenNI detections were improved through the use of a convolutional pose machine, which runs on an onboard mid-range GPU in real time. Activities are represented using qualitative spatial relations between the body parts and nearby objects. Objects are segmented from a point cloud acquired from the RGBD camera in an unsupervised fashion by assuming that they are approximately convex and of uniform colour. The successfully segmented objects are shown here in different colours. Here we see a speeded up video of part of the dataset. The detected humans are indicated with a red arrow. The right hand side depicts the robot's internal model. Many activities can be seen here, such as making coffee and throwing rubbish into the bin. To learn about the identity of humans, we extract facial features using an off-the-shelf face detector. We also collect colour information from people's upper and lower clothing in order to describe their appearance. Both faces and colours are clustered using an incremental Gaussian mixture model, and a Bayesian information criterion is used to select the number of clusters. Just as topic modelling in text mining builds models of documents in terms of distributions of topics over words, here we build models of video segments as distributions of activity topics over qualitative spatio-temporal words, which model the interactions between body parts and the nearby discovered objects. Activity topics can be built incrementally as new observations are made. Here we see a simple model showing three topics, which are represented as a distribution over the spatio-temporal words. The learnt model can be used to detect which activities are most probable in a new video, as can be seen in the multinomial distributions in the top left. Here two activities are recognised. Topic A in green, which corresponds to using the printer, is more probable than topic B. We crowdsource natural language annotations of the dataset, asking for descriptions of the appearance of people and what they were doing. Here we see some sample annotations provided. Verbs, adjectives and nouns are extracted using a parser, and integer programming is used to correlate occurrences of these words to the learned perceptual concepts. Here we see on the left a new video as perceived by Lucy, which she is able to describe using natural language terms that have been grounded to the learned perceptual concepts, as demonstrated on the right. In summary, we have demonstrated a novel framework for autonomous learning of human concepts in real-world scenarios, with partial, noisy and changing viewpoints of the world using onboard sensors and the limited computing power of a mobile robot. The framework continually acquires and updates both simple concepts, such as clothing, colours, faces and objects, and complex concepts, or activities, in an unsupervised manner and grounds natural language words to them. In future work, we plan to exploit the learned concepts in the robot's behaviour.